it, it doesn't make any sense to me because it was it was a mistake and I'm sorry and I I wish I could pay for it or do do something do anything but eight years well I mean I, I did I did break a window I did uh, I saw um, I was on the violent side of the building I was on the west side This MAGA mom shows no remorse for January 6th. Watch this. You go in the building, how can the government argue for 96 months? Well, that that is incorrect. I did go in the building and the one through a window, but I didn't go deep into the building. I didn't go into the Senate floor. I didn't go into anybody's offices. Um, and I really, I don't understand why they're asking for as much as they are. It, it doesn't make any sense to me because it was it was a mistake and I'm sorry. And I, I wish I could pay for it or do, do something, do anything, but eight years to, I don't understand. This is Rachel Powell, also known as the Pink Bullhorn Lady. And she's known for that considering her infamous appearances in POV and CCTV footage during the insurrection where she is prominently featured. But when facing up to eight years in a sentencing hearing for her role in the Capitol riots, she jumps on an alt-right talk show to justify her crimes against democracy. I understand it. Um, you could tell I've seen that the window. Well, I mean, I, I did, I did break a window. I did, uh, I saw, um, I was on the violent side of the building. I was on the west side. And um, after I saw Roseanne Boylan dead at my feet, I was obviously irrational. I did break a window. Um, I, I've i never hid that. I've always been open about it. But to give somebody eight years for that in an out of control protest, um, you know, we're now, I would believe her apologetic confessions if it weren't for the fact that they were blasted all across Steve Bannon's network. But coming off of the tail end of a PR tour undermining her criminal case and advocating for other conspirators who've already been prosecuted for their parts in the Capitol riots, it seems like this mega mom is a lot less sorry than she lets on as she continues to defend the actions taken on January 6th. What is it about him that brings you out here? Because when he was in there before, everything was wonderful. And when he left, everything went to hell. Literally. And the refusal of remorse is on brand for Republicans. But the delusion and the conspiratorial suspicion of the right amidst the animosity of an increasingly divided electorate normalize these radical acts and open up the U.S. to be more vulnerable to these vicious attacks. But what they don't understand is that I am willing to go to jail if that's what it takes for our country to win and become a democracy again. This is to not even mention her specific actions during the riots, where she wasn't just a mere bystander or inconspicuous or mischievous participant. No. Once the Capitol was breached, she was organizing the assault, identifying and breaking through weak points that then incited the violence that caused this tumultuous fallout. Fallout that inevitably resulted in a loss of life and an affront to democracy. And this lack of internal reflection. Republicans, in one way or another, are entitled to opposition, whether it be sensible or logical, and are vindicated by their conviction towards their convict-in-chief, who would throw them under the bus if he had to. But the cult mentality of the alt-right is pervasive and all-consuming. And coming from the MAGA mom herself, who swears by the promise of a presidential pardon. It's clear to see what her true beliefs are. But none of this is more telling than that inconspicuous hat she placed on her child's head that reveals her truth that she still places Trump 
above herself and her family. And as a progressive, I'm never going to root for someone going to jail, but looking sternly at the facts, it feels like a just sentence in the face of all the egregious affronts. Now, the only question is whether or not she'll be able to hold on to that bullhorn. Maybe if I ask nicely, she'll let me borrow it. <laughs> this is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.